you said, because I heard you say there was nothing, and you said, how could something come from nothing? Yeah, that was my question, actually. That, you understand that? Yeah. Well, how can something come from nothing? Yeah. But let's dig a little deeper. What is nothing? What is there such thing as nothing? No. Imagine we open a room and there's no, nobody in there, there's nothing in there. Are you talking to him or me? Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Right. No, just so they understand, I want them to understand the concept. Okay. What is your understanding okay. of nothing? Let's get that it doesn't exist. Okay, what is it? What do you understand by it? In scientific, have we ever found an empty space with nothing in? No, no, it's not, even no, empty space minute. is not nothing. Thank you. Good. So therefore, nothing doesn't exist. How would you define true. nothing? There being completely nothing, not atoms, not nothing. There's nothing. Good. And as far as we're aware, we've never found nothing. Okay. There's so always something if you want to call it an atom. Here is. To, so, so where you said you can't get something from nothing, you started on a fallacy because nothing doesn't exist. Actually, that was my question. No, 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 no. Nothing. Doesn't you were not listening. No, no, no. You said. Instead of you putting words in my mouth, why don't you ask me? This is a new discussion. Ask me a question. Okay. Because you're assuming things about no, me. No, no. You came halfway no, no. during the discussion. I heard what I heard. No, that's why I said you came halfway during the discussion. And I heard and what I heard. Wait a minute. Let me finish. No, no. What's the problem? Can you can you please stop assuming and let me answer? What you do is you ask a question and then you answer it yourself. Okay, answer it. Answer please stop doing that. Answer it. This is the third answer. time you've done it. Okay. Okay. I don't think you want to have a discussion. No, I do. You want to have an no, argument. No, 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 if you want to have an argument, I don't want to waste my time no, with you. No, okay, so once again, where did the universe come from? Don't speculate. It's always been here. Don't speculate. Okay, where's the evidence it was always there? Because, because we cannot see a beginning where you say there was nothing that doesn't exist. So, so, minute, so you cannot use the word nothing in the concept of pure truth. Nothing. It doesn't exist. You finished? Do you know that no. the scientists have actually given a rough age of the universe? Yes. Do you know how they came to th uh, that conclusion? Do you know how much it is? Yeah, it's about 13.7 billion years. 13. Do you know how they got that age? Uh, from the speed of light. Speed of light? Yes. No, it's not from that's the speed animation. of light. It's, it's, no, it's not. That's animation. No, it's not speed of light. How does, it, how does speed of light tell you the age? And the radiation. Ah, finally. Oh, oh, okay. So, I didn't, okay. so that is in, if that is age, does it have a beginning? Well, no, because no, because all they're saying is from the point where there was an explosion. I didn't say there wasn't some big explosion. Just because there's an explosion and the radiation goes this way, it doesn't mean that before the explosion nothing existed. No, no, no. You said existed. there is an age. If something has an age, it has a beginning, right? No. What does age mean to no, you? No, because you're talking about where the universe blew up. We're not talking about what was before that. Okay. Imagine for so one minute. Imagine there is scientists who say the universe could get bigger and contract and it get bigger contract so the bit that goes, one minute the bit that which goes, scientists say that if you google it you'll find it so oh yeah you brought it up so you google it <laughs> the onus is on you to provide the evidence so if not we, me if we believe this is a point in time yeah all of a sudden it's a big bang what they call it okay we measure this and it contracts yeah what about before minute, that minute, the question was minute, about before that universe by the way again. one minute the universe expands again and we measure it and you where's say, the evidence oh, for that it had a beginning one minute this is the second time. he's doing it again he's talking to everyone except me sorry answer. can you please answer the question i asked you where is the evidence that the universe is eternal where's the evidence because the onus is on you because you are the one who made the statement because we can't see where there was nothing so don't speculate no we have to we have to it's a high probability so we can say okay the you can see matter. high probability of what that it's always been here where's the probability based on because there's no what is the probability based on? Okay, so you're, you're saying before I'm not saying anything. I'm asking you the question. Okay. What happened before God. the Big Bang? Okay, so let's say at the beginning there was God. And there was no, no, forget else. God. You don't believe in one God. Minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Do you believe in God? One minute. You said there was, there was God yeah, and From else. my point of view, from yes. Point of view, I'm asking from your point of view now. Right, so it was nothing. You said nothing and God. Would you agree with that? I'm saying from... God, listen, listen, nothing. listen. The question was for you. Please answer the question. I'm using your own principle. Don't yes. answer a question yes. with a question. Okay, so once again, for you to say there is a high probability that the universe always exists, can you please substantiate that statement? What I'm saying to you is, are you saying, are you coming, your premise is that there was God? And are you God? going to answer a question with a question? I'm asking it, I, I'm Don't asking. answer a question with a question. Your own principle. Can you please answer my question? What, this is the third time I'm asking. You said there's a high probability the universe was eternal. Yes. Can you please provide evidence for that okay. statement? So the evidence is quite simple. Which is? Okay. So if the world and the universe wasn't here, are you talking to me or them? There would be nothing. Are you talking to them or me? Okay. Would you okay. agree with that? I can talk to them. Don't ask me a question with a question. Give me okay. so, a scientific okay. 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 substantiation so, we'll go for it. We'll from go for anyone it. who makes okay. that claim. So what I'm saying is, if there was no universe, there would be nothing. The problem you have is that we can never, we, to this point, we have never found nothing. 
we've only ever found matter, which then logically would tell you the probability is there's always been something. Because this nice <clears throat> thing that you're talking about, we've never found. Can I ask you something? You mentioned about matter and about nothing else. Yep. Is, is that your worldview of the world, of the universe? Well, you either got to have energy or no, no energy. energy is something as well. Exactly, okay, yeah. my question was, what is your evidence for the universe always existing? You still haven't given a reason. I have, I just gave it to what you. What is that? I told you that it's either got to be something or nothing. <laughs> that's not a reason. Minus. It's either yes or no. So that's not a reason. It's so it's not a reason. Minutes. That's not an answer. It is, it is an answer. No, it's not. You either got to have a universe, yes, or nothing. Why? Yes or no. Why is that? What about God? About what about one God? Minute, one minute. God is not the universe and God is not nothing. So I've given him another option which can be there. No, no. Why are you either, saying no? Either we got to have something or we got to have nothing. Why? Who made that who made that rule? So what else could it be? God. 